We're now looking to the banking section of Sage One account. So on the top tabs here, go on banking, click on it, and you're at the banking list appear here. Now on the banking list, you'll have cash in hand and a, a bank current account. If you need to add any more accounts under manage accounts, click add new account. Put the account name in, so you may have like a, a business savings account. Put in the account number, and there'll be like a, a sort code. Account type, you can have current savings, credit card loan, or other. Let's put savings. You can put the bank address in and the contact details of the bank. Once all those details are put in, click save. And then we go savings accounts, got your sort code and account number. To add details to the current account that's already set on Sage, just click on it. And click edit bank account. You can then edit the account name, the account number, let's put the account number in, sort code the account type and once again you can put the address in and the contact details of the bank click save then let's go back by clicking on banking and there we go those details are now added on there so to make payments from the bank because you will have payments coming out the bank say like bank charges um, and other payments that you won't need to raise an invoice for um, wages, salaries, drawings and you also have money go into the bank such as bank interest that you're not going to raise a sales invoice for so how do you record those transactions on Sage? Well under sales we can click on other income it says payment method so we have three boxes one, two, three so bank receipt, cash receipt, check in hand so let's click bank receipt type of sale we have bank charges and interest and then we have our sales codes that we've created let's put bank charges and interest on today's date you can create the customer as your bank if you wanted to put in a reference number click the bank account so it could be interest on our savings account of pound fifty, and then once all those details are put in just click save and it'll be saved for you you'll notice I click save and I didn't add a customer in because you don't need to if it's bank interest um, so let's put bank charges again so we receive some more interest just leave that blank this time it's been interest on the current account of you know 73p click save and it'll save it for you and you notice they're down here and the customer's blank because you don't need to record the bank as a customer there's no need to do that so let's do other ones so a bank receipt Um, bank interest again, savings account. This time, you know, it could be last month's one pound fifty. Save, and it's down here. So nice and easy. If we look on expenses, so other expenses, other amounts that go out to the bank. So bank payment, cash payment, credit card payment. Let's do a bank payment. Let's do bank charges again. Um, we may have like an over, like an annual charge or overdraft charge. Choose the date. Leave blank. It's the bank current account. Yeah, we might have three pound fifty. Let's add it down there. We have other payments that came out of the bank that you don't have invoices for such as your rent, you may have rent go out each month but you don't pay, don't have an invoice for that each month so you have rent under here, rent and rates, click rent put the date in 
for the contact if you got the contact otherwise leave it blank current account and let's put 500 months rent click save and that's added down there so pretty straightforward under type of expense you have all these expenses if there isn't one there to cover your expense or if you want to break these expenses down further just click create new and create a new expense let's go back to the banking screen okay now if you want to transfer money from one account to another so let's move some money from our current account to our savings account under manage accounts click add uh, click transfer sorry set the bank from so current account to savings account put the amount in so let's play pay a hundred into our savings put the transfer date in once again if you click you get this calendar appear put in a reference just you know monthly transfer monthly savings click save and that you'll see that money has been transferred across if you're paying cash into the bank and you know, if we had 200 pounds in here I'll show you how to do that you know we would get another income say we received cash receipt so it goes into cash in hand of bookkeeping uh, or let's do monitors sale of monitors on the 5th of June from BPFS they gave us 200 pounds in cash let's click save when we get to our banking screen you'll notice there's 200 pounds now a cash in hand if we bank that into our current account just click transfer from uh, just bear with Okay, if you click on cash in hand, actually click on the bank, you can click pay into bank. So you can't transfer it. But if you click on cash in hand, click pay into the bank, you get this pay into bank screen. So pay in reference, that'll be your pay in slip. Put that in into the current account. Put the date in. You can put the amounts in. So say it was 250s. And five twenties, no coins, total cash two hundred, click save. Let's go back to our banking screen. You'll notice that two hundred pound has now gone from cash in hand to current account. Okay. And we can do another one of those just by clicking cash in hand and then click pay in bank. Let's 